Hi, my name is Aaliyah Zellis, and we are resetting for September. If you are new to my channel, hi, I am a dark fantasy and sci-fi self-published author. Here are a couple of my works. And I love to write about interesting things. I often say my three muses are the parts of nature that are downright terrifying, the sides of science that are borderline magic, and whether you're religious or not, the parts of God that no one wants to believe exists. As you saw from this title, we are doing a monthly reset and I wanted to have, I wanted to start this new series because I want to have more concrete plans for my goals for the new month. I wanted to make sure that I recapped over my goals from the past month, make sure that I hit every single one that I set out to accomplish and I wanted to have more concrete plans for my goals for the new month and to really keep track of my progress and my accomplishments. So to start off, let's start with my August recap. Last month, one of my goals was to finish my final edit for my latest novel, Crohn's. I haven't quite got there, but I'm almost done. <laughs> so we're gonna timidly put a little check mark Put a little check mark on that goal. Get pre-orders set up for the beginning of the month. I did accomplish that goal. I set up all of my pre-orders right on time without much of a hiccup on my website and all of the major retail sites like Amazon, Barnes and Nobles and stuff like that. So that was good to go. Another one of my goals was to take more rest days. I'm usually a workaholic. I mean, especially since I'm self-employed, I just work till all hours of the day, all hours of the night and time, my time kind of just blends together of business and personal. And I realized that that was not sustainable. Not even realized, I knew it wasn't sustainable while I was doing it. Nevertheless, I continued to do it. So, I finally came to my senses, knew it wasn't sustainable, so I decided to make a change so I could have more hard boundaries on when I'm working so I could fully enjoy my personal and free time. So one of the ways that I wanted to do that was having more rest days. So Sundays are officially my day off where I don't do any work whatsoever. And during the month of August, I implemented that to the fullest and it's been working great. Not only has it been working great, I've really been enjoying my time and feeling more rested when I'm working. That also feeds into my next goal, which is I want to have more intentional joy in my life. Because I'm a workaholic, another thing that I've been implementing into my life is a reward system. Now, of course, a reward system isn't anything new, but I guess I never really just thought about it for myself because I just didn't know what it would look like but I finally took the time sat down and really came up with a plan that I think really works for me when I complete a meaningful set of tasks I reward myself with something that I really want to keep work and my overall life exciting and interesting and I try to focus the rewards on experiences and activities that are appropriate for the effort that I put into the tasks so for instance when I fully completed writing the uh, second to last edit for Crohn's my reward was taking an extra day off and going swimming when I finished setting everything up for my pre-orders I bought new makeup that I've been wanting for a while nothing too crazy just like a couple of eyeliners and once I published the book the reward that I have set up is to buy this mystery puzzle novel that I've been wanting for a while and that I think will be super fun. In the future I think I'm going to do a more in-depth video on my reward system. Let me know if that's something you guys would actually be interested in. Another goal was to post five social media posts a week. I've been very consistent with that so check. My last goal was to finish section two of my Spanish course on Duolingo. Check. At the end of the month, I also want to make sure that I highlight the things that brought me joy that month so I can have a moment where I'm actually reflecting on what went, what went well and what I actually enjoyed and things that I can implement more of in the future. And to overall have just that mindset of gratitude. One of the things I enjoyed this past month is that I went swimming, this was a separate time, I went swimming with my older brothers and I went swimming 
alone by myself you know when you're young or when you're children you don't always have the best relationship with your siblings so having a better relationship now as adults was just overall cool and i enjoyed going swimming just by myself like just me going to the pool swimming by myself and it's not that i'm opposed to doing anything by myself it's just that i'm such a homebody but i would love to do more things so it was really great just to get out by myself and go swimming even if my siblings didn't really want to go um and just having that time to myself and i wound up talking to a couple of ladies that were also from detroit my hometown so that was an enjoyable experience as well another thing that i enjoyed this past month is i've been getting much closer to a childhood friend of mine and it's been very healing and therapeutic we've been having therapeutic conversations from just like our upbringing to family dynamics to friendship dynamics to our beliefs and it's been so freeing and healing we both want to be our best selves and fully become the women that we envision ourselves to be and it feels really good to have someone else who's on the same wavelength and energy length as you who can really encourage you to stick to your goals and even if something seems scary for someone to really put things back into perspective for you of what it is you're trying to achieve what your goals are and going about them so it's been really good for me personally wise and emotionally wise and business wise it's a relationship that i truly did not expect to come to me at this stage of my life but it was a beautiful surprise and gift and i've really been enjoying my relationship with her and of course having my new reward system and intentionally finding more joy in my life has brought me more joy <laughs> i've been attempting to really get back into hobbies and doing more hobbies to to really enrich my time i've been attempting to play with clay i've been of course reading swimming want to do more hiking all of the good stuff I feel like I had a lot more hobbies when I was younger but for some reason I just can't really remember what all of them were. I knew that I was gardening, I was writing. I used to just be in my own little world and I used to have hobbies that I just enjoyed so I wanted to bring that aspect back into my life. And with the reward system it's not saying that I have to earn these things of like having free time and swimming and doing my hobbies and stuff and I can only do them once I complete work first it's just that my work is such a big part of my fulfillment as well so it's been more so about finding that balance in my life so at least for me i can go like oh okay i know that i've completed this part of a project or finished these amounts of tasks and it's gotten me to this point so i feel like it's very appropriate for me to take some time off and treat myself to an experience an experience or an activity or a treat that I don't have to feel guilty for taking the time to do because I know that by my standards I've earned it. I've also been enjoying making YouTube videos and content. I know this is like what I do but for some reason I've just been really enjoying the process of making the videos. I did a cozy author vlog and I did uh, another little vlog for my TikTok. Uh, for a blog that I did and I just really enjoyed the the video making process of it um, maybe it, it's because my season is coming up autumn I feel so energized and so creative during that season so maybe I'm just riding the wavelength of that but I've particularly really been enjoying the process of making videos and content for you guys uh, as of late also what's been bringing me joy is dancing i have been dancing more often um finding time to dance whether looking at youtube videos different youtube videos for different styles of dance and dancing i used to dance so much when i was younger i did african i did hip-hop i did uh afro beats dance hall and it feels really good to get back into that now for the new month of september here are my new goals of course first and foremost this is going to come at the end of the month more towards the end of the month but this is still the major goal that i have this month and that is to publish my new novel crones on september 24th it's just the biggest goal that i have for the month everything that i've been working on has been leading towards that event all of my content uh 
most of my daily work has been surrounding that so I'm really excited to check that goal off of my list. Next I want to start the first the first unit, the first section of the third unit that I'm on with my Spanish course and really get deeper into learning and practicing my Spanish. I wanna stay on top of posting five pieces of content uh, a week. Um, I've been doing really good with that and I wanna keep up that momentum, specifically focusing on publishing pieces of content that are surrounding promoting my new novel, Crohn's, since that is my latest or my newest project coming up and I want it to be as successful as possible. Next, I will have to order all of my pre-order books, all of the pre-ordered books for Crohn's. I have to make sure that I stay on top of ordering all of those on time so I can get them to me and then shipped out to everyone who pre-ordered on time. This one goes hand in hand with publishing my new novel Crohn's. It's just to like have a successful book launch. That entire week that I am publishing the book, I have quite a bit of content going up just to, you know, really celebrate the book coming out and everything like that. So I want to make sure that that whole week overall is successful. Also, a goal is to have a successful Labor Day sale. I am having a Labor Day sale at the beginning of September. Uh, well towards the end of August at the beginning of September I guess and I want that to go well as well it's not like a big thing it's not like a big sale that I, I'm having but that is a goal just to make sure that I have content and do that sale also another goal of mine is to implement a secret sale yes I want to start implementing a secret sale every single month because usually people buy my books from just like their favorite book platform so like from Amazon or wherever else they get their books but I want to up my sales on my personal website so I want to implement a secret sale for like the first 10 customers who use the coupon code um, and see how that does to start off to see if I get more traction if I'm implementing like a secret sale and pushing that on my socials and once I see how that goes then maybe the month after that I'll implement another secret sale for like the first 20 customers so on and so forth we'll see what I want to do with that more in the future but for the first month I do want to establish having a secret sale every single month so I can start hitting more of my uh, order goals on my personal website and that is my monthly recap and reset and goals for the new month of September I hope you guys enjoyed this video I can't wait to see you guys in the next one and I can't wait to give you guys more feedback on how this is going for me, like how the setting up my monthly goals and reflecting back on my monthly goals go for me, especially for this season of autumn, which is like my busiest season. That's when the readers come out and that's just when, I don't know, the energy for my, my field, my industry, the energy for me as an author is just different. So there's going to be a lot of exciting things coming this autumn um, and stay tuned for that. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.